Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh from Spotted Euros. Behind me we have our 2009 Volkswagen Touareg TDI. We got this a couple of months ago at the auction. So now it's time, finally time. I'm surprised I haven't done this already, but we need to clean the inside of this. It's filthy, it's disgusting, it's... <laughs> Like I said, I don't know why I haven't cleaned it already, but uh, let's uh, take a look at the inside and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do and how I typically clean the inside of these cars. Okay, so before we get into the, the inside of this car, just some backgrounds. Bonded Euros, we're a used car dealership. We buy and sell cars, um, mostly Volkswagens. This is my, my third Volkswagen Touareg. I started with the V6. I had the V8. I'm back to the V6, but this one is a V6 diesel. So, uh, like I said, we picked this up just a couple of months ago. We've made plenty of videos on this. So, if you want to see how this was when we first got it, some of the initial repairs that we've done, check out some of the other videos. But like I said, this has been needing a good interior detail for a while. So it does have the tan interior, which shows the dirt definitely a lot more. But just overall, the carpet's pretty dirty. The seats need to be wiped down. Cup holders. This overall needs to get cleaned cleaned up. I'd say the worst part of the seat is here. My son sits there in his car seat and his feet rest on the seat, so that's kind of why. I also have this metal section that definitely has some stains on it. And then the back here. So uh, I definitely think we need to get a mat, a trunk mat. This tan carpet is not doing us any favors. And then also the driver's side. So there's quite a bit of just built up dirt, armrest, all this kind of stuff. So uh, the reason I'm making this video, one, we need to clean this thing, but then two, I clean a lot of these, um, a lot of these cars. I do all the detailing myself. I'm not saying I can do it on a professional level, but uh, pretty much anyone can make a car clean if they just spend a little bit of time and uh, you know figure stuff out. So there's a couple of things that I've learned, or a couple of things that I do that make it the whole process a lot faster. Because I'm not, because I'm cleaning so many cars, I don't want to spend all day doing this. So usually I can get stuff done pretty quick, um, and that is because of a couple of things. So here's kind of what we're looking at as far as what I typically use uh, to clean these cars up. So a couple of, I would say, you know, this stuff is pretty just, I mean, I personally prefer, uh, prefer this stuff just because it's pretty cheap. You can pick it up at Walmart, except for this chemical guy stuff. This is actually kind of recent. I haven't used it a whole lot, as you can kind of tell. Um, so we'll see how this does. Typically, I just stick to simple green um you know water it down put it in a bucket a spray bottle that kind of stuff but here is what makes everything so much easier having this brush so this brush here you can get it pick it up on amazon it's pretty cheap um it comes it's like a three pack so it comes with this brush this flat one and then an even smaller one but this makes all the difference being able to scrub this stuff, like I said, makes a difference. The carpet, but but also like uh, cup holders, it's so easy to just stick that in a cup holder or these smaller spots, and it's able to kind of scrub and get all the gunk out really quickly. Uh, inside the door pockets too, you can just kind of reach in there. So that makes a big difference having this brush. Um, and like I said, they're not cheap. I think the kit's maybe like $10. Uh, 
on uh, Amazon. Um, this one, the last time it actually came, so I've I bought two of these so far. So the first one didn't come with this, but then I, it, the second one came with this extension thing, um, so you can kind of have a little bit more reach. Um, then typically I use just this stuff once again it's just at Walmart it's nothing real special so it clean everything down and then you can kind of spray it down with this it makes everything smell a little bit better and it gives it a shine now I recently just this last time I picked up this stuff because there was another youtuber that said uh, they use this and they really like it the whole point is it smells makes the car smell like leather so I figured I'd give that a shot. That's a little bit more expensive. Um, it's like $10 for that bottle, whereas the other one's like three or four. So anyway, that's uh, that's what we're looking at. That's kind of the state of things. Um, not extremely dirty, not extremely bad, but the main thing is this tan interior, really being able to clean up the tan seats and get all this stuff off. Oh, and I forgot to mention, so, what I've learned, the easiest way to get all this tan stuff clean are these right here. The, uh, what are these called, like erasers or, or whatever it is. Um, these make the whole thing so much easier. Um, I've used a couple of things and really um, just a couple of these, you put them in the water let them soak up and then have a towel to kind of wipe things down afterwards and it makes all the difference. It makes it a lot easier, there's like no residue and uh, it doesn't beat up the, the material, whatever it is, doesn't beat up the seat. Um, but we'll show you, but literally like this stuff in here, you know, or all of this will just wipe right off with those magic erasers so that's definitely a tip or a thing that i figured out um those magic erasers make a big difference okay so enough's enough the first step to every interior detail is uh taking out the mats if you have mats and vacuuming everything down once again this is the the shop vac that i use i got it off of amazon i think it was like 50 bucks 60 bucks something like that it has been great i love having this thing um it isn't anything real fancy um but it does have pretty good section and is able to to get stuff pretty good okay so just real quick give you just a good look at this driver's side so usually driver's side um is typically the most dirty But it gets consistently used here so took the mat out and this is kind of what things look like so uh, mostly for a before shot like I said we'll clean this up pretty good Okay guys, so we got the whole car vacuumed out. And now we can start really uh, cleaning stuff. Um, the only thing that's interesting with these Torx is this channel right here. It's so thin and narrow, so trying to get something in there is pretty hard. Um, I might have to try and make something, but the best I could do is just kind of this front section, but the back of it is it's still pretty dirty. So uh, I would say usually start on the driver's seat or start where the uh, the dirtiest spot on your car is as far as detailing because when you first start you really got the energy and you want to clean this thing good so you really do a good job and then by the time you get to the to the last part you may not be have not may not uh, be putting as much energy into it so I would say start with the dirtiest spot and then move to uh, a spot that's not quite as dirty so we put the uh, the chemical guys interior carpet detailer in here so now we just got to spray all the carpet down and I'll spray this down first and then we'll come back 
and uh, well, we'll let it soak a little bit and come back and uh, kind of scrub everything down. We have the scrub brush um, once we want to do that, but let me show you. So here's this uh, magic eraser. So it's it's soaked. This is just warm water with, uh, like I said before, simple green. Now let's see how well this comes off. So as you can see, this spot here is pretty dirty. But if we just wipe, look at the difference there. I just wipe down through here. I mean, that just comes right off with this stuff. Really makes it easy. And like I said, the best part is that it doesn't leave a residue. I've used the other stuff that really, people say it works great, and then it's like leaving a residue the whole time, so. So you're having to clean it almost twice because of that. Yeah, so like I said, here's uh, definitely something I've learned. If you've got a tan interior, really any t interior if you really want to, but this really takes it down pretty easy. You don't have to put much effort into that. So as you can see, almost instantly that wipes down or something like this here. Works pretty good. Let's see. Now you do want to be careful because this, uh, I'm not sure, most of Volkswagen is actually vinyl. They use more of a vinyl, so the reason you may want to use like this over some sort of more harsh chemical is because you can really wear down the material and you don't want to do that. So anyway, this is just kind of how it goes. Um, just wiping everything down once again door panel it all comes off pretty easy now you may be able to just use a rag but as you can see the rag doesn't seem to get stuff off as well as this uh, eraser. So anyway, like I said, anyone can anyone can clean this stuff up. Okay, so I'm just jumping around a little bit just to show everybody, but maybe let's just try this. So if we come over here to the back seat, we just kind of wipe down. So this side, let's see if this makes that much of a difference. So as you can see, this side I just wiped it down with the cloth. And let's do Okay, let's see. Okay, so you can see that right there. So this side was wiped down with the cloth, this side was wiped down with the magic eraser and you can see it just takes off just a little bit more than if you were to just use a wet cloth. Um, I think they put some bleach in these but I'm not exactly sure.
So anyway, so there you go. I mean, almost instantly with not much time, make this look a lot better. So, uh, like I said, a lot of these Volkswagens, I've bought um, quite a few of them with tan seats, tan interior, and that's what I found makes uh, the biggest difference, makes it real easy to clean stuff down. A lot of the TDIs, you know, Jetta TDIs come with tan seats, um, and that's what I always use. It works really well. Okay guys, this is uh, kind of hard to film slash kind of boring to film, but uh, we got the driver's side pretty much done as far as cleaning everything. So as you can see, I even came in here, the carpet, I didn't show that, but uh, this brush, soak it down with the soap, let it soak a little bit, brush, vacuum. So pretty easy. And then we wiped down the seat a little bit. Definitely got off all of this dirt, so that looks a, low, a ton better. And then we also wiped down the door panel. So as you can see, it all looks a lot better. So now we move to the back. Really the back, um, it's just the seats need to get wiped down. And then uh, I wanna try and uh, Spend some time on the center spot, see if we can get some of those stains out. Other than that, I mean, this carpet all looks fine. The other side looks fine because there's a mat there. And we'll wipe down the seats. Um, the other thing I'll mention, so in these door pockets, and a lot of door pockets, uh, they have like these, like a rubber piece that sits in the bottom. It does make it nice because you just pull this out and then you can clean that. Now what I found, once again, makes it real easy to clean this. You don't even have to scrub it. Is you just soak it for a little bit and then hit it with the brush and it will take all that stuff off. So it makes it real easy. I'll do that now. Okay, so that makes it real easy. Takes it all off pretty good. And then uh, wipe down the inside of this. And then you can put it back in and it's uh, good to go all right guys so this is where we left off on this side we we're able to wipe all the seats down get everything pretty clean we we're able to get all those stains out they actually came out pretty easy as you can see in the middle the rest of it wasn't too bad and then I pretty much went through and finished everything let's see if you can see this but I uh, came in here through the trunk maybe I'll put a before and after but uh, so yeah this had a bunch of stains like black stains had a big black stain on the side here a couple of things on the seats so this all came out pretty good pretty easy so uh, once again just that uh, the spray the carpet cleaner stuff and then the the brush and it really just takes it all out this side the door and then I already came in here and did the passenger side as well and the uh, glove box all of this tan stuff um, you just come in here wipe it all down magic eraser and then wipe it down once again and uh, It'll be good. Now, once every all the seats dry and stuff, I think I'll come in and use this. And we'll see how it smells. I hope I'm hoping it smells really good. Using all the carpet stuff really made it smell good in here already, but but yeah, so there it is. I'm happy this trunk came out really good. The back seat came out really good as far as the carpet in the middle. So there you go guys, there you have it. Cleaning the inside of our auction Toreg. Really not too bad. I'll finish the rest off, um, but we'll end the video here. Like I said, the big tips are get one of those, uh, some of those brushes you can put on the end of a drill. Makes your life a lot easier. And then if you have a tan interior, that uh, magic eraser really is magic. Uh, so uh, 
that at least is what I've seen has helped. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's something that you guys do that works really well as well, or uh, any tips you wanna give all of us that are kinda watching, feel free to leave that in the comments below. But otherwise, there you go guys. Once again, I'm not sure why it took me so long to clean this out, but now that it's officially ours, well, it's always been ours. Anyway, now that uh, we're keeping it, at least for a little bit, it'll be pretty good. So, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hopefully we're picking up a car at the auction here soon, hopefully this week. So uh, maybe we'll do, well, if we get a car, we'll definitely do a video about picking it up. I've also kicked around some other ideas. Uh, here's a hint. A Touareg, another Touareg. It might be fun to get another one. So, uh, anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching and see ya.